So they so do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh dear. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I was raised differently. And now I'm in a country that um, is a different culture to what I know. Then I have kids. And as a mom, you don't... You only raise your kids based on what you know. That's why it's very important to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Mm. And then, parenting is quite challenging. When you have a foundation of a different culture and then you live in another country, which culture is extremely different, like yeah. up, up, no similarity at all. Well, there were some similarities. Yeah, yeah, similarity somewhere. But because, in my opinion, I stand to be corrected, the Western world seems to be moving faster than where I'm from. Yeah. So some of the culture, the similar culture, most of them are already gone. Yeah. Like back home, there's community parenting, where about if, you know, everybody around you have a sense of responsibility yeah. for your well-being, for your growth, for, you know, just to discipline you, to be there for you and everything like that. And people have some sort of help with their children back home more than yeah. here. Here, you can say you can take the child to the crash. Not everybody can afford the crash. But back home, you could say, oh, I won't be home till about 6 p.m. You can go to Mommy Talkwest house. Yeah. Go and stay there. When I come back, I'll come and pick you. It's very hard to do that here because everybody is for their head. Mm -hmm. And I saw a video where someone was saying that um, it was just a short video where they were showing their lifestyle in Canada compared to their lifestyle back home. Like back home, it's very easy for you to afford um, a house help, you know, a housekeeper, someone minding your yeah. child. There's a gate man, which we call the security man. You have a driver and all sorts of luxury, I'll call it. But here, you are the driver, you are everything. You can't, we can't afford that kind of luxury. And let me just shift a, a bit away from my topic in the sense that income is kind of regulated here. Mm -hmm. So you cannot just pick somebody up from the road or they refer somebody to you and you think because they are suffering, 20,000 era, 50,000 era is okay per month yeah. to pay them because they want to be your housekeeper or they want to be your gate man there is a regulation there's minimum wage if yeah. you want to employ somebody they have to be you know contract that you have to stick to <laughs> and i'm very sure most employees always pray that their employer will not stick to the contract yeah like i was saying i'm a parent i was born and raised in nigeria i came here i've been in ireland for let's say 21 years yeah it'll be 21 years in december december 16 Maybe 21 years that I've been in Ireland. So all my children are born here, including yeah. Ma. <laughs> That's my second daughter. So it's challenging raising you because we have to be on the same page, especially at this age yeah. that you are, you know, young adult, you are mature, you have your own opinion, you have you can say, Oh no, I don't want that, I want this, you know the way. I believe that that's a gap between our generation and your generation. And what I mean is, we we have different opinions. Yeah. You know, we have... Our mindset is not the same. Like, when I leave the house, I don't live just for me. I live for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, my safety. I know that my husband is at home. I have my kids. My mom is back in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to hear any bad news about me. And stuff like that. But your generation is like, you know, Jayeju mentality. <laughs> you just, it doesn't matter. Like Let me just. Sometimes we'd go, I'd go out and I wouldn't know who I was meeting. I wouldn't know who, um, where I was going, mm -hmm. how long I was going to be there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know any of that. We'd go where the fun is. But when yeah. she goes out, she knows where she's going. She knows what time she'd be back. It's my job. Regardless of the fun, I have to leave. If I say I'll be back at eight, I have to leave. Yeah. Except God forbid something bad happen. Maybe yeah. I got kidnapped or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is when I won't be back home. It doesn't matter the fun. Yeah. It's, you know, we we kind of live life based on principle. Yeah. You kind of live life like 
the life is waving you this way, you go this way, ooh, and it's going this way, you go, ooh. Because you're young, you live life while you're young, have the most part of it, because when you get older, you have more responsibilities. Like now, I won't be able to go out as much as I do, mm -hmm. normally, because um, I'm college. And first year, a lot of people fail first year. A lot of people drop out in first year. Yeah. So at least I know I'm doing a course that I love. I love doing it normally, so it's not going to be hard. But now this is a challenging question. Why is it that there is a gap between us? We always say, I can't say we always say, that is generalizing. In my opinion, I believe that your generation don't listen. But some of you will say, we don't listen, right? Yeah. Who is not listening? Hmm? We we don't want to understand where you're coming from. You don't. <laughs> Oh, I, wouldn't, I, I don't. Sometimes I'm like when you say stuff, and I'm just like I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. And then I just want to be like, oh, I just want to, you know, just have fun. And like every time, like obviously she's older, so she's living based on experience. So if I'm say going through something, mm -hmm. she will tell me based off experience. Of I'd be like, no, that's not true. Yeah. Some of us want to have our own individual experiences as well. Yeah. So then sometimes when you prevent us from doing some type of things, it's just kind of annoying. Cause I want to experience that as well. So sometimes you think we're just saying it or we're lying. Mm. Or it doesn't really matter. Let, me, matter. let me go through this pain, then I know it's painful. Yeah. But sometimes we don't want you to go through that pain because we've been there because before. Because you've been there before, but we don't we don't we don't have a clue. You don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We don't really know. You just want to know by your you just yeah, want to have a feel of that curious. experience. We're very curious because yeah. we want to know about everything. And because you mentioned curiosity, you know when you're curious, you can be angry. Yeah, because you can't find out why. Like if I ask her why, like she went through something, and I'm like, why can't I do that? And they, like I can't understand where she's coming from. I just be like, why? Like why? Yeah. And that can make you angry. And because you are anxious towards some things that are not even important. Yeah. So you might get angry if that thing doesn't come your way. I believe that um, our generation have more prepared more structured mindset mm -hmm. towards life and um, looking at my background coming from a place where there are a lot of people who don't even know where their next meal is coming mm -hmm. from you see young children who maybe their mom is an entrepreneur their mom have a restaurant they're coming back from school they have yeah. to go help at the restaurant back home it's not because they're maltreating them because that's mm -hmm. just you know the right yeah. thing to do but you but that still happens. Yeah. Yeah. Not with a lot of people. Not with a lot of people. Majority of people will that would not happen. But it still happens. You just don't really know about them. But sometimes some children want to be, you know, in a separate world compared to what their parents yeah. are doing. Even though they still live at home, they are not paying rent. They still want to live a life as if they're paying rent. Yeah. Wow. That's strange. Like you looking at us as if we are exaggerating things, like, you know. You don't want to listen to us. And we are looking at you like, what are you saying? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. How can we meet in the middle? Because obviously, if there are two people, they don't want to listen to one another, mm -hmm. they are not going to achieve anything. Yeah. You know? So how can we meet in the middle? My generation and your generation, yeah. how can we meet in the middle? I feel like, now that me and you do get along better, yeah. that I understand you a lot more. Mm -hmm. So I understand where I now understand like I, I can now put myself in other people's shoes. Like before I wouldn't live into that. Yeah. Like, that's your problem. Like you deal with it. Deal with it yourself. Yeah. And then I have to think and put myself into it. Like I don't like I used to not have pity for people. Like, I just didn't care. Mm -hmm. And so when you put yourself into other people's shoes, when you learn how to do that, you kind of think like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. And then you kind of think like, since she's already gone through this experience that I'm thinking, oh, I'll be fine when I go through it. And she's warning you, she's warning you for a reason. She's not just saying it to you for the crack, like. Mm -hmm. But then, I feel like once there's more communication, mm -hmm. and there's more understanding, mm -hmm. where you can sit and understand each other without screaming at each other, mm -hmm. I feel like that helps a lot more. You mentioned we're getting along. Mm -hmm. What changed? What, what did we start doing that now we're getting along? And what have you been doing that we, we weren't getting along before? We bought a lot more. How? Now? Yeah. How? What, 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 what are the more. things? Okay. Yeah. Talking of all, like spending time together, yeah, bonding, yeah, creating time for one another. Like, I remember before, every time she went shopping, I was always when she brought her. And then, I don't even know what happened. Even said, 
I started work. Yeah. I haven't been shopping with my mom properly in a long time. And now like this, like we kind of went shopping today. I did meet my friend, but it was a nice little bonding mm. trip. And bonding helps a lot because then like once you're together with someone for so long, you kind of feel like you can pour your heart out to that person. Yeah. Like obviously I could before, but you, you could just do it a lot, just be a lot more freely. Yeah. Like I could just say that something's bothering me so much freely. Now. And what I believe is sometimes when you're physically busy, yeah, your mind will be busy too. Yeah. <laughs> Even like when you get back home, you might be exhausted. When that person wants to kind of create, you yeah. just don't want to talk. You just don't want to. Your talk. social battery has died. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah. But why though? Because we're all just so busy, and then we have phones as well. But the thing is, when you're busy and you're telling the other person you're busy, and they are free at that time, when you're free, they they can say I'm busy yeah. too. And then it hurts. Yeah. Then you can feel, you know, a bit of what they felt when you say you're busy. Mm -hmm. So balancing that is what we should look into. How to kind of make sure your personal life is doing okay, your work life is doing okay. Yeah. For your mental health, if you do too much of anything, it's going to affect your mental health. You will end up exploding. Yeah. And then you end up exploding on the wrong people. That's passive aggression, right? Passive aggression. Instead of you to go and find somebody in your circle who you can talk to, you end up exploding on your whole circle and you end up pushing them away. Yeah, they'll be like, I don't understand I don't that understand. anymore. So talking about friendship, you mentioned communication. Of course, you can build friendship when you yeah. communicate more with people. Because you, if you spend time with somebody, you will know them better. Yeah. You know. So what does friendship means to you? Like obviously, I have friends who are opposite of me. Like I'm a very honest person. I get it from my mom. I'm not as honest as her, but I get it. I am. You a get it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then, like. I'm more like telling I like to tell the like if something's wrong I'll tell you the truth like I won't lie to you and then you have and then I have friends who like they'd be too shy to do that oh. and they're very quiet and I have friends who are exactly like me as well so the thing is you believe there are some people that even though they see something is wrong they will not want to say it because they don't want to hurt other people's feelings yeah but is that friendship though not exactly I don't see that as friendship I see it as fake but sometimes they are not fake. They're it's not just, fake. They just, they're just, they just so they don't like confrontation. Yeah. Because some people will be, if I say it to her, I don't know if she's going to get angry. Yeah, but I don't think like that. I feel like once, like obviously, yeah, I'd be like, oh, if I say something to someone, obviously, if I know them very well, I mm -hmm. know how they react to it. Mm -hmm. If I don't know someone very well, and if I don't tell them, I feel like, like you're stabbing them in the back. Exactly. Yeah. Because sometimes some people are willing to learn. It's just they don't have anyone there to teach them. Yeah. And sometimes you might not be sure if what you did was wrong. Yeah. You know? Wow. Like, especially like when, like if you're going out, like, do my eyebrows look too big? And then you're Super looking yes at it. No, and I'm looking at you and I know myself that my eyebrows look kind of big. And you tell me, no, they don't look big. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, just something plain and simple plain like and that. Plain and simple like that. And like you see on like TikTok, wait, do you know this thing where you bake your eyes under here and sometimes like the flash? Yeah. Some people ask their friends to take a picture of them with a flashlight. And they went out and they were taking pictures and her, you should see me on the eyes. It's white. It's too much. Too much. And none of her friends could tell her. And she went out with like five people. Oh. And none of them, none say of them they, could say they, anything. They're probably they, sniggering about it as well. Oh. What's sniggering? Sniggering, like, giggling about it slightly. Oh, yeah. laughing at her. Yeah. Oh, I see. What kind of English is sniggering? Oh, is it me that don't know the English? Oh, my dear. Can you not just say they were laughing at her? No. Because laughing at someone, you can clearly see them laughing. Oh, so they so do like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Very good example. Yeah. So you believe friendships should be based on honesty. Honesty. And it honesty. should be transparent. Very transparent. Patience. Let's say you went out with your girls and you're wearing a white hat <coughs> and you sat on something, maybe ketchup or something, and they were walking behind you. They couldn't even say, Oh my god, look at that. Can you you know you know that um um, experiment, mm -hmm. yeah, where, where they was, yeah, like pretending to be, a, yeah, yeah, and a lot of people walk mm -hmm. past them, like, I like don't I've care. had this situation happen to me before, and I was with two of my friends, and she, um, one of them saw it, yeah, but she didn't say it to me straight away, she said it to my friend that was with us, yeah, so then she was like, uh, the other girl was like, Do you want to go to the bathroom? Or I go to the bathroom, will you come with me? Oh. I'm like, What the hell, what's wrong with you? I don't want to go to the bathroom, she. <laughs> so we all got us to the bathroom, and then I realized she came in, she came in, she came in. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, 
had to use, she had a mic and she used it to scribble it. <laughs> What's that? Like it was only small. Oh, yeah. okay. And she could see it. And she could see it. And kind of make you, even though she didn't say, let's but go she, in the bathroom because of this. Yeah. She said, let's she didn't want me to, obviously, because we were around other people. She didn't want me to start oh. like panicking and getting biased. Yeah, because some people, we start looking. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good friend. Yeah. Shout out to you, good friend. <laughs> but why did she say it to the other person, though? Instead of just saying it to you first. Yeah, she just wants to make sure they're both of you. Like, like three of maybe, you. Maybe like it was actually proper. Yeah. 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 That's, you know, with, the, with our reactions to things, mm -hmm. sometimes people don't know if it's right to approach you. Yeah. Because of the way you react to things. Yeah. You know, if you're all, hey, like you overreact or, you know, you exaggerate things or you just scared easily. Yeah. Like my friends, like if they want to tell me something like really seriously, like, just like this, I'm talking about like a shopping place, and then they start talking, and then me like my, my reaction is all over my face. So I'm like, yeah, you don't know how to hide. Yeah, yeah. And then so like when I'm trying to hide, I just be like, oh my god, I'm still laughing. That's yeah. the only way I can hide. It, so I start laughing. So they know you. They know like you know like you know you know your friends. Yeah. Like if you've been out with someone once or twice, you know how they behave sometimes. Yeah. And it's very good to know your friends. Mm -hmm. Does it matter how many friends you have though? I think if your circle is too big, there's too much, too much drama. Okay, so make your circle small, but well, you can end up knowing a lot of people. Knowing a lot of people. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, I've only started as my friend. Mm. And I just say, oh, I'm going out with this person, that's my friend. They might not actually be a friend. Yeah. Like, you know, like, when you walk into school, you have the person you walk to school with. Mm -hmm. When you're going out, you know your that's party, your, your party that you bring out when you're going out. Yeah. If you want to go to the library to study, you know who you're bringing because that person is going to motivate you to study. Yeah. When you want to go shopping, you know who has good eyes for clothes. Yeah. You bring the right person to you. Okay. And then there's some friends that are just all of that. All of that in one? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a blessing that's that would like, be. That's like a Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Just calm so you will know that it's a lot in there. You know people who are so gifted and so... Yeah. I don't know the word to use. Sometimes they don't flaunt what they have yeah. you know they, you don't really have to be like oh, look at me kind of some people have that personality mm -hmm. you wouldn't even you can even undermine them when you see them because they are not they are not shouting about what they are you know capable of doing their abilities yeah. and everything but everyone need a friend and um, I believe friendship sometimes comes in seasons yeah. there are some friends maybe you go to primary school together that might be the end of that relationship yeah. after primary school. But some you still carry into secondary school, into uni, even after uni, <coughs> after school life, you still, you know, have relationship with these people. And some friends, you don't know them at all from primary school or secondary school. You only get to meet them in university. Yeah. And they will be like the best of friends. You cannot even compare them to somebody that you've known since your kindergarten, you know. So friendship is in can be in seasons and it's just so important to know when you know the friendship thing is dead. Yeah. It's good to know the face. Is this temporary or is this permanent? Who is this friend to me? Like you said, your friend who have eye for fashion, who go shopping yeah. with you. If somebody would love to eat, you take them to shop. You will not shop because all they will be saying is come on, let's go. Oh my god, look at that, they have bubble tea. You spend all the money that you wanted to do on shopping and food. They will not even let you shop because, you know, that's yeah. not their area. It's not because they are bad people. They just don't like the environment of yeah. shopping. Like, I don't really like physical shopping as well. Well, I don't like going out. You know, because you end up going out for one item, you buy five items. It's still not funny. Anyway, so what are the abilities to look out for? Like, on, your, on, on a personal level and also for people... You think friendship should be on honesty. You believe friendship should be based on honesty, mm -hmm. which is good. Some people will say, I don't care. Some people will say, oh, this person lies. I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's their problem. It, is that okay? Even though you know somebody is a liar, can you still keep them as a friend? Can you still say, this is my friend, even though you know they are terrible lies? You know? It depends on what they're lying on. Okay. You know, like when you can, like if you've known someone for so long and then they start lying, you kind of know, like, that's a little bit of a fib. Mm -hmm. You know, people have small, small fibs. Fibs. Fibs, like little, little lies, little white lies. There's no white lie. Lie is a lie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, then it just comes to a time and place where that's a bit too much. Yeah. And you want, like, you don't want to be basing your friendship off someone who's lying. Because someone who lies.
is that much for you to, pro to proper know and everyone to know around them that they lie they probably <laughs> they lie probably lot. make up different 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 type of lies yeah sometimes people lie because they don't want to tell you what they are going through yeah or they don't want to share some certain things. Yeah, but that's different. Yeah, that's different. Like, say I, say I was going through something, but I know that this person is my close friend. Yeah. But this person can't listen. Yeah. And I need somebody to listen. If they ask me, are you okay? I'm saying fine. Oh, okay. Are you lying? I'm lying. You just lied. But it's of no use if you say if it. If you say it. Yeah. Because it's either that I will say one sentence and it will end up being about them. Yeah, I get or that. Or you will pour your heart out, but they don't. Know what to say back? It's just don't really. It's not like they don't care. It's just like they just don't have that type of advice that I need at that moment. It's just not them. They are not who you need. Like for yeah. every face, for whatever situation you find yourself, there's always somebody. I would say that all the time. There's always somebody that can, you know. Some people don't even give advice. They just listen. Yeah. No interruption. No advice. No mm -hmm. suggestion. No, you know, pity pity. They just listen. Mm -hmm. And when you're finished, when you're done, when you're no longer saying a word, mm -hmm. is when they must just say, what do you want to do? Yeah. What do you want me to do? You know the way. So I understand that that part. And like, even when you are like upset and stuff about like a situation, like if you're getting advice from other people, okay, people can have good advice, some people can have bad advice, but don't base your life on advice from other people. Mm -hmm. Because when you're telling somebody about a situation, mm -hmm. you're only telling them about what's going on now. Yeah. So say like if I go to my friend, like my mom took my phone off me. Okay. Like she's so mean. That's what my friend is gonna think. Oh, my mom just your mom is taking phone. You should tell her to give you your phone back. She can't just do that. But I did tell her what I did. Yeah. For you to take my phone off me. Mm -hmm. So you can't base yourself on advice from other people. Like if you're going to how take advice, take it into account. Think about it. See if that's how you want to. Well, think on your own mm -hmm. by yourself. Yeah. Unless like you can't think of anything, then you can look for proper proper advice. But I think that a lot of lot of people. Once the situation happens, they don't want to talk to the person about it. They want to go around and see what other people think about it before coming to the person. Mm -hmm. That's not good. No, because it's like you're like gathering opinions, gathering, gathering what you want to so say. So then you, you, you yourself, you know what you want, but then other people are going to make you influence your influence. decision. Especially if you're friends, if you're in a friend group who don't like that person you're on about. Yeah. And they happen to do something yeah. bad. Yeah. I get it. So friendship is very important. In any relationship, and especially to make our gap a bit more closer, we need to spend more time, talk more, communicate, you know, just be there for one another. And parenting is, is a lifetime thing. And <laughs> like now, some things are getting clearer to me about parenting. There are some things that I don't used to appreciate. You know, my mom, my dad, like your, your, your neck, but now you begin, you know that same feeling of you looking out for somebody who is saying, Oh, don't worry, I'm okay. And you'll be like, what? You're okay, you didn't call me for this. You didn't do this, you didn't do that. It's a different feeling when you have a child or when you have, whether biological or the, the children you adopt, when you have part of you in somebody, you know? Just want to make sure nothing bad happened to yeah. you. Yeah, that's great. That's great, that's really good. So, thank you for joining me on this ride and sharing with my people. My name is Eremide Obishasa and it was nice to be involved in this conversation. Thank you very much. Snog the phone!